Hey everybody, my name is Pete. And today I'm walking you through five steps for taking data and turning it into an insight that you can share in a presentation. Make sure to stick around to the last step if you're sharing your insights in a meeting and let's get started right now. The first step of any analysis is to identify your audience. And I know it seems a little bit counterintuitive and we're going to be jumping into a bunch of analysis later, but you're setting yourself up for failure if you don't properly identify your audience before you get started. Here are a couple questions that you can ask to identify your audience before you start analyzing your data. Who is the audience? Who's the primary audience? And who might the secondary audience be? What are the motivations of your audience? What is their reality? How much do they know about your work? And how likely are they to receive the recommendations that you're going to give? In the example that we're going to walk through today, the audience is the board of directors for our coffee company. Their motivations are to grow top line revenue. Their current reality is that they know we ran an advertising campaign starting in Q one of this year. The next step in your analysis is to get the data. Data can come from a lot of different places. Sales can come from your CRM. Revenue can come from your accounting system. And web performance can come from Google Analytics. The data that we're reviewing today are sales figures from the coffee business's CRM, and I've already exported it into Excel, as you can see here. If you want to follow along, check out the practice data linked to in the description, and let's get back to the video. Now we have our sales data, and we want to do an analysis analysis to determine the effectiveness of the advertising campaign. One way to get started is to use conditional formatting. So I'm going to highlight these cells here, go up to conditional formatting, data scales, and I like green, white, red color scale. And what this is going to do is it's going to highlight our data according to its values, green being the largest and red being the smallest. And right off the bat, what I see here is a lot of green in 2021, which is when we started to run that ad campaign. And so that leads me to believe that this was an effective advertising campaign. Next, I'm going to calculate the year to date sales volume for 2021 and calculate the percentage change formula compared to 2020. To do so, I am going to sum January through August 2020 and compare that to the totals for 2021. And so as you can see here, we had 170 sales through August in 2021 and 154 sales through August in 2020. And now I'm gonna calculate the percentage change formula by taking the new, dividing it by the old, and subtracting one. And sales are up 10% year to date. That completes the analysis section. Let's move on to crafting a story around the data. To put the story together, we're gonna to jump on over to PowerPoint. The story that we're gonna craft is relative to the audience that we've already identified. And our story is gonna have three main parts, a headline, a visual, and supporting data. And Starting with a headline, a good headline is a complete sentence and it tells the audience what they want to know. So a bad headline is something like, I used the conditional formatting feature in Excel to highlight the months based on the color and the results of the analysis were that sales increased 10% year over year. That level of detail doesn't make sense for a board of directors meeting. Instead, let's stick with a very simple headline, the advertising campaign, increased sales 10% year over year. Next, we wanna include a visual that supports the headline that we just created. Let's jump back to Excel to put that together. To add a chart, I'm gonna highlight the data, go up here to insert, and insert a line chart. After that, I'm gonna click this plus sign and I'm gonna add a trend line. As you can see here, that trend line is up and to the right and supports the headline of 10% growth from the advertising campaign. And Excel makes it really easy to copy this chart and paste it into PowerPoint. And with any chart, you wanna make sure you contextualize that chart for the audience so they understand what it is. And so we're gonna just quickly put in a title and you can also label the athlete axes if you want. We'll call this monthly coffee sales. And the last section is supporting data. This is a great section to add any additional commentary that you'd like on the analysis. In here, you could include the absolute figures that generated the 10% or even go into a little bit of the methodology and the tools that you use to put the data together. Now that we've got our story, let's jump into the last and most important step of the process. Lastly, every meeting needs an objective and an agenda. An objective simply answers the question, what will happen at the end of this meeting? And there's a couple different ways that you can answer that. The audience will have an update on the effect of this year's ad campaign. The team will decide on the advertising plan in Q4, or we will brainstorm a list of ideas for next year's advertising campaign. 
And the agenda is simply a roadmap for getting to the objective. And a good way to write an agenda is to bullet it out and include timestamps for each piece of the meeting. So that way you can hold everyone accountable on time and responsibilities. Now you've got your audience, data, analysis, story, and objective, and you're ready for your presentation. Thanks so much for tuning in. Click subscribe and that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my videos. Let me know in the comments section, how did your presentation go? Click thumbs up if you learned something, and we'll see you next time.